In this video, we'll talk about T cell activation. T cell activation takes place when T cell interacts with the antigen presenting cell, such as the dendritic cell. Before understanding the cellular and molecular events in T cell activation, let us begin from the basics. T cell develops in the bone marrow, and it all starts from the hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell. From there, develops into lymphoid progenitor. From the lymphoid progenitor, T cell precursors are generated and they leave the bone marrow to reach the thymus. And in the thymus, there is stringent training that these T cell precursors get. Once these T cell precursors leave the thymus, they have T cell receptors and a co-receptor, in this case CD4. But these cells are actually naive T cells. That means they have not encountered any antigen so far and they are right now in a quiescent state. That means in G0 phase. These T cells are circulating. That means they get circulated into the bloodstream and move here and there. Anyway, at this point of time, T cells has condensed chromatin. Not much transcriptional activity is going on in these T cells. And they have very little proportion of cytoplasm as well. Now these cells move from one place to another throughout the body and they possibly encounter the dendritic cell in this process. It, it is found that these T cells are circulating among the blood, lymph node and the secondary lymphoid tissue in every 24 hours. In this time course, they can possibly encounter a dendritic cell. Let's see what happens in this encounter. Dendritic cells are antigen presenting cells. That means they can present an antigen on top of class 2 MHC molecule. This class 2 MHC molecule can be recognized by T cell receptor. This T cell receptor mediated signaling is really important for T cell activation. Indeed, this is the first signal that is required for a T cell activation. There are other receptors present in the T cells, such as CD28, which is a co stimulatory receptor. It interacts with the CD80 or CD86 receptors on the dendritic cell. And this interaction gives the signal 2 for activation. Other than these two interactions, the cytokine signaling is the third signal which leads to a T cell activation. And the key cytokine for T cell activation is interleukin 2. Once there are three signals like this, the T cell would now re enter the cell cycle. They would proliferate rapidly. This is known as clonal expansion. After proliferating rapidly, they could be differentiated into several sublineages based on the cytokines they encounter. They could become Th1 cell, Th17 cell, T follicular cell or even Th2 cells. Even some of them become T memory cell in future. If you want to learn in this process in details, that means the T cell differentiation process in details, the link is found in the i button or in the description. Now let me tell you that in T cells, CD28 are not the only co-stimulatory receptor. Along with CD28, ICOS is another co-stimulatory receptor. Now, ICOS can interact with the ICOS ligand present in the activated dendritic cells. And these kind of interaction is super important for the effector T cells. Now, the naive T cell does not express the ICOS molecule, but effector T cell does. It is also found in the memory T cells. It is thought that these ICOS receptors are required for maintaining activated state. Now, the positive stimulation is not the only type of interaction that happens in case of a T cell. There are negative co-stimulatory receptor as well, such as CTLA. Now, these CTLA and CD80 interaction leads to an inactivation of T cell responses. That means these uh, positive and negative co-stimulatory receptors maintain a balance of T-cell activity. 
Indeed, there are several negative co-stimulatory receptors present in the T cell. And this negative co-stimulation ensures that T cell hyperactivation can be prevented. Now, in summary, we learned that T cell activation requires the interaction between antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells and T cells. There are three distinct signals which are required for the activation of T cells and we learned about all of them. And we learned the importance of cytokine interleukin 2. We also looked at T cell has positive and negative co-stimulatory receptor. And we learned that once activated, they can be differentiated into different subclasses. So if you want more videos and notes, lectures, all of these can be found in my Facebook page or in my Instagram page. My handle is provided here. It, the links are provided in the description. You can support our channel in Patreon or in Beam UPI. Also, under each video, there is an option for super thanks, which is present in the bottom right corner of the video. You can contribute using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. If you wish to connect to me, all my social media links are provided in the description. You can also support the Nerd Medic channel. All the link for this Nerd Medic channel is given in the description as well. Feel free to connect. Don't forget to comment. See you in the next video.